When you start the Eclipse application, you will see a window that looks like this. You may not see the Package Explorer pane initially, so it could look like this. You can make that pane visible using a menu item from the top horizontal menu bar. This is where it is on the Macintosh. On other machines, it's in a slightly different place, but easily seen. We use menu item window, show view, package explorer. There, it's back. So, we have the package explorer pane, which will contain Java projects. We have the pane in the middle, which will contain Java files that you are editing. And there are some other parts, which we don't go over now. We now show you how to create a Java project. First, use menu item File, New, Java Project. Put in a project name. Let's call it just Demo. Use the default location for your projects. Eclipse will store all projects in the default location unless you tell it differently. Use the default location. Note where it is. Use Execution Environment Java SE 11. And we suggest having separate folders for the source files and the class files. More on that later. And then click Finish. Because this is Java version 11, a new module info.java window will pop up. Do not create this new Java file. We don't need it. Click button, don't create, and the window disappears. You see the project in the Explorer pane. Click the right arrow to the left of the name, and you can see that that project contains a directory src for source and a library. Now let's add a class to the project. With the project selected, we choose Menu Item File, New Class. Or, instead of that, you can hover your mouse over the white C in the green circle, there it says Java New Class, and click it. The class will be put in folder demo slash src. Unless otherwise instructed, always make this field empty and put it in the default package. The only other thing we have to do is click public st static void main. We want a method created. Oh, we have to put in the name, of course. Let's call it greetings. And now we can finish. The class has been created. You can see it's in the default package within SRC. Here is the class itself. The outline pane contains all of the components. If we click main, you can see that it's selected in the editing pane. If we click greetings, we see that that is selected also. This is an easy way to get to a particular line in the editing pane, especially when there are many, many components. Now, let's put a comment to say what the method does. Write hello in the five most popular languages. The statement to do that is system.out.println. Put a semicolon after it. And now, within the parenthesis, we have to put the string that writes hello in the five most popular languages. Before starting this video, I placed in my clipboard a greeting in those five most popular languages, Chinese, Spanish, English, Hindi, and Arabic. So let me paste the line here, surrounded by double quotes. After the video, we'll show you more about these greetings. By the way, I can change the size of each of these panes by moving the mouse in between and dragging. I can do it here too and down at the bottom. Because class main has a procedure that's static and called main and has this parameter, it's called an application. 
and we can execute or run this application by using menu item run run or if we want we can click on the white arrow in a green circle that calls method main ah we forgot to save the file so this pane come up I'm going to click always save resources before launching so that I never have to see this pane again I suggest you do the same we click save and you can see at the bottom that the method has been executed there is hello in the five most popular languages note that method main has an argument of type string array string bracket bracket you don't know about arrays in Java yet and you do not know how to call method main from outside through what using run with an argument you don't need to do that now we'll talk about that much later